you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at setting up and installing android 7.0 nugget on a pc or vmware so we're going to be doing the vmware part here create a new virtual machine then set uh, the typical recommendations here and then point to your iso now we need to set this up here i'm going to just change this to android 7 and you can see we're going to be using uh, the Android 7 ISO here. Now we can set up our maximum disk size. Now I'm going to be having 20 gigs here and store the virtual disk as a single file. Now you can uh, customize the hardware. Now you can do what you like here. If you've got a lot of memory and a fast processor, you can up this to whatever you like. See, I've got this set to 512, one gig. Depends on what your system can handle. Okay, I've got 60 gigs of memory, so I can do pretty much what I like here so I'm going to set this at two gigs here and the processor can be set up uh, to whatever you want here as long as you've got plenty of processing power I'm going to give it two processors and four uh, cores here so we're just going to click uh, display here now you can put the accelerate 3d graphics on here if you wish I'm going to click uh, close and you can see we're using three BSD uh, on this version okay so which is based on Linux so we're going to now boot up here and you can see we've got the live CD run Android x86 without installation this is if you want to boot it up to have a look at it without installing it but we're going to go for the installation here so we're going to install Android uh, times 86 now obviously that's going to boot up to the create and modify partitions so we're going to create a partition here we don't want to create a GPT uh, partition so I'm going to say no now we can navigate down to the bottom you'll see help down the bottom there and new so we're going to go new click on new and push enter and then we're going to make a new primary uh, partition here now once we've done that what we're going to do is make this bootable so we're going to select bootable and you can see it's give it an SDA1 primary now we're going to make that uh, a bootable partition here so just push enter to create a bootable now you can see it flags as boot now we need to go along to where it says write so we're going to write this uh, partition now uh, push enter and you can see SDA1 boot primary Linux and it's now going to write to that disk now it's going to ask you whether you want to uh, do that you just type yes and push enter and that will then write to that local disk there what we just created uh, so what we can do here now is quit so we need to quit out of this now and you should see SDA1 unknown VMware virtual and you're going to click OK to boot to that OK now just click OK there and now you'll see uh, choose a file system we're going to choose ext4 and we're going to say yes here to uh, choose that format and format that uh, partition now we're going to install grub so say yes to install grub and once we've done that we don't need to have EFI grub 2 so we can skip this part so push skip and push enter and now do you want to install the system directory as read and write, uh, read and write? so we're going to say yes push enter on yes and this should uh, then start to create that for us so just uh, let that do its thing it won't take too long because it's a very small install and this would be the same process if you was doing this on a computer you'd actually boot the, up to the ISO change the boot order or put it onto a USB flash drive and boot to that flash drive now we can run our Android x86 because we've created this we can reboot if we want to but you could just uh, boot up straight from here by clicking run you should now see the android splash screen uh, pop up and there you are you've just uh, installed android uh, nugget uh, android 7.0 nugget on your uh, computer or vmware it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and you can see this is our operating system and you can do whatever you like on you can make changes uh, in your settings here you can see we've got a uh, phone notes gallery settings you can change all your settings wallpaper everything you want to do inside here which you would normally do on here you'd have the menu button down the bottom as well as you can see here 
and that's pretty much it for this video that's how you can install uh, Android 7.0 on a VMware now also this does work on VirtualBox as well uh, slightly different but it is pretty much the same thing and also uh, as I said PC or laptop you can install it as well on there and it's pretty simple as you can see here if I can find a place to up the uh, ISO for this I will do and I will leave the link in the description or I may put it onto the forum depending where I can uh, put the actual ISO for you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again. Bye for now. <laughs>